I'm running the main power cables to the back of the tractor, but there's a spot they have to run through the frame. I'm worried about chafing on the metal. Uh, so what I did is I found some old scrap garden hose, and it turns out two aught cable will exactly fit through the garden hose. So I cut a pair of pieces, and I'm just gonna run the cable right through there, and then use the garden hose as a protector for where the cable has to run through the tractor frame. So run that through and then I'll run it up through the back here. Um, I need to trim the end and install a terminal on it, crimp that on there with this guy, put a little piece of shrink wrap around there and then bolt it in down there. Hard to do all that while holding a camera though. After crimping the lugs onto the end of the cables and connecting them to the motor, I could actually power up and spin the motor with the motor controller although I'm just pulling the throttle cable here by hand because I don't have a foot pedal on it yet. Uh, as we take a look at the chain right now, uh, it's, it's kind of sloppy. I don't have a good way to tension the chain, so I'll need to figure out some way of adding some sort of a chain tensioner of some sort. Uh, but the other thing is I need to design a foot pedal. Uh, my brother was going to come back and help me with that, and in the meantime, I'm going to work on adding this forklift flasher. Now one really cool thing about this is it'll run anywhere from 12 to 80 volts DC, so I can hook it up to the 12 volt battery on here or to the main battery pack that also drives the motor, but I'm just going to hook it up to the 12 volt system to start with. I used self-tapping sheet metal screws to screw the light directly down onto the hood, and then I also crimped on a pair of spade connectors to the wires, passed those through the hood through a hole that was already on there, and then reinstalled the hood on the tractor. Then I could take the positive and negative wires, connect them up with the red positive going to the uh, fuse panel. Um, I'll add a dedicated switch for this later. And the crazy strobe light is installed. With the mechanicals done and the power all rigged up to the motor, I could now get the seat back in place. After that, I conducted a series of tests going through the gears uh, with the back of the tractor jacked up in the air just so that I could make sure speed control was working properly, uh, the mechanical transmission was working properly, and everything seemed to work pretty well. And that meant I could finally take the tractor out for a spin. D1! Overall, mechanically, it actually worked really well, although I'll admit that the chain noise was a little loud, and it was definitely awkward pulling that throttle cable, and it didn't actually have brakes yet. So here is the plan for building a foot pedal, which will connect to a brake cable, which will go up to the throttle in the tractor. Next, we needed a large L bracket, something I didn't have, but we did have a, uh, some steel plate around still, so we cut that to length, and unfortunately, I didn't even have a vise, uh, but I did have a hammer in my anvil, so we decided that we would uh, mark a line, score it, and then just use the hammer to bend it to 90 degrees to make a big L bracket. Uh, took a little time, but actually turned out very nice. There's our bracket, and then that lever. It's going to go on the bracket and pivot. This is a hole in the one end of a piece of bar stock and the whole idea is that the lead end of the throttle cable is going to pop into this hole. Um, it was kind of an odd size so we really had to work to uh, be able to get that to fit right. And then we used the angle grinder to just cut a slot right there for the cable itself to actually pass right through. Line needs to get a little wider. Okay. So we started test fitting what we had of the pedal so far to make sure the cable would line up, uh, figure out where my foot would come to. Some of this is kind of based on a uh, person's length of leg. And then we welded on a piece of angle iron that would be the actual foot pedal itself, which you can see right here. And then back at the tractor, um, popping the end of the throttle cable in there and then mounting it back up to the bracket, which is now actually bolted through some of those uh, foot plate drain holes. Over well, here is our pedal mechanism. And that connects up to the 
throttle here. And this has a spring in it. And then this also has a spring. Seems to work. Since the foot throttle was working, it was now time to take it out for a test ride. D2! Overall, the tractor actually worked really well, except for the fact that it still didn't have brakes. I did manage to find the old broken off brake pedal. Uh, we held it in place, tacked it, and then welded it in securely. Um, after welding all the way around and a little bit of angle grinding, we had a brake pedal again, although the brake pads themselves also need replacement. And if anybody wonders why the wheelie bar has that extra piece of angle iron, here, hold my beer. <laughs>